This week, we are partnered with HelloFresh and Rocket Money. More on them after the reaction. What is going on there, citizens of the Reject Nation? I am joined with Aaron Alexander. We are going to watch a movie that I have been wanting to watch for a long time, and I perked up when I saw Aaron hadn't seen this either. Hidden Figures. Aaron, how are you? I am doing so good, so great. I'm ready for this movie starring Tarari... Starring Tarari... Starring Taraji P. Henson. If this guy thinks I'm cutting that out and editing it to make it look smooth, he's got another thing coming. <laughs> <laughs> hey, baby, we on the fly. We do it. We, we flub up words. That's okay. We make it up. Leave a like on this video, people. Subscribe and click the notification bell. And while you're at it, tell us, did you like Hidden Figures? Is this a hidden gem in your mind? Thank you to Prepper for helping us edit down these highlights. Full-length reaction watch along to sync up with your own copy of Hidden Figures available for our Super Sexy Rejects over at our Patreon page we cover several things over there exclusively with highlights and watch alongs included all right aaron you ready to discover what's been hidden the figures yeah i'm ready for all the figures mm. yep yeah yeah baby it's gonna be us we're gonna ruin the movie for you guys <laughs> mm, janelle monet octavia spencer damn kevin costner yeah, yeah. West Virginia Collegiate Institute is the best school for Negroes in the state. Really? That's right. The only school past the eighth grade anywhere near here. Scalene, equilateral. She's smart. Rhombus, trapezoid. Oh. They want to take her early. Tetrahedron. She's like good at geometry naturally. Is that what geometry is? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Math shapes. <laughs> That's all I know. Why don't you solve the equation on the board? She sees things differently than the rest of us. She's an X-Man. But women in the 1920s can't do math. So if you move all the terms over to one side, you can put the quadratics into a form that can be factored, allowing that side of the equation to equal zero. Once you've done that, it's what? pretty straightforward from there. Let's go, little nerd. Let's go. What the hell? I have never seen a mind like the one your daughter has. Hurry on now, love. You have to go. She's trying to make the rest of us look stupid. <laughs> <laughs> you have to see what she becomes. Oprah. <laughs> she becomes Oprah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. 40 years later. Damn. Okay, trying to turn it over now. <laughs> There's a little jiggle. <laughs> wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. <laughs> <laughs> is definitely the start. Starter is starting to make us late. We all gonna end up unemployed riding around in this pile of junk to work every day. <laughs> You're welcome to walk the 16 miles. Oh, I'll sit in the back of the bus. I won't do neat. I'll hitchhike. You know, f from the little bit I know about this movie, this is a really smart opening scene for the characters. Hmm. For what they're, them fixing this mechanical piece of machinery together. Okay. <laughs> No crime in a broken down car. No crime being Negro, me. Button it up, Mary. <laughs> Nobody wants to go to jail behind your mouth. I'll do my best, shoot. Ladies, are you black? <laughs> <laughs> you have identification on? Yes, sir. We're just on our way to work. NASA, sir. We do a great deal of the calculating, getting our rockets into space. All three. That's crazy. NASA. I had no idea they hired. Colors. You girls ever meet those astronauts? Mercury 7? Absolutely. We work with those gentlemen all the time. They don't, do they? They ain't never even seen an astronaut. We gotta get a man up there before the commies do. That's for certain. <laughs> Hard being of service broken down on the side of the road. This cop's taking a liking to them. What, y'all need a tow or something? All you'll respect them, man, man. <laughs> they smart uppity Negroes. Okay. Bypass the starter. Yeah. <laughs> See? NASA. Imagine you're running late to work. Oh, no, so we wouldn't want to bother that you. would be wonderful, officer. Follow me. I'm driving. Hurry up, George. Hey. These are three great actresses. They're awesome. They're all three amazing actors. Oh, I don't even know where to begin. Oh, I'll tell you where to begin. Three Negro women are chasing a white police officer. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. That's right. That there is a God-ordained miracle. <laughs> oh, what? what? I wish she was able to take a selfie. <laughs> you just know this is the kind of movie that's going to have the most excellent props and costume design. And oh, it's I mean, going to be look at the colors popping already. Show me. Kevin Costner! Pocket! 
He's gonna be the only one in the thumbnail. <laughs> <laughs> Man, we really got to beat them goddamn Russians. <laughs> We're about five minutes in. It's already better than Apollo 18. <laughs> it's called Apollo 13, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> I rest my case. <laughs> yes, Mr. President. It looks like they've achieved at least one orbit, maybe two. When he answered the call of the president, Kennedy was on the back. We're about five minutes in. It's already better than Apollo 18. <laughs> it's called Apollo 13, by the way. <laughs> Go again. So is our comrade, Ivan. What a dummy. What the hell? Proven life can be oh, it's, it's him. I'm Dr. Sheldon Cooper. OMG. A damn dog and a damn mannequin. <laughs> 1.6 megaton RDS drops down in the middle of Des Moines. Well, that's a pretty big jump. Paul Stafford, our lead engineer, Mr. Webb. I think what he meant to say is that speculation, at least on our side of the equation, just a little dangerous. Well said. Damn. Inaction and indecision. The Russians. Indecision is a thief of opportunity. And just so you know, he's not wrong about what he said in there. You know that, right? Wow, cool framing. Yeah. Where's the machine? In a day now, Mr. Harrison. What's it called? The initials? The IBM. A lot of this cool, like, wide center framing they're doing with almost every angle. I need a mathematician. Wes Anderson. Ah, uh, each one of them in their own box. That's cool. Yeah. I like that. <laughs> Christ, we don't have a single person in this entire building that can handle analytic geometry. Well, tell me something else, Ruth. Like, we're going to find such a person before the Russians plant a flag on the damn moon. <laughs> <sighs> Russians. We're rushing to beat the Russians. We know just the ladies to do it. I have no idea who these women are. <laughs> Mr. Zelensky's requesting you for a permanent assignment. Are you serious? Get moving. Ooh. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, thank you. Mary, Mary. keep it inside. Mary, Jesus is right there. Be quiet. <laughs> Mrs. Mitchell. Is that Kirsten Dunst? Kirsten Dunst is in this. So what the hell? Space test group needs a computer. ASAP. Computer. Someone with a handle on analytic geometry. We can't fill that position out of the East group. You have someone? I don't need to talk to him. Catherine's the gal for that. She can handle any numbers you put in front of her. I'll check her credentials. She was destined for great things, and she's just here, a typewriter. And I can't figure out why. <laughs> My application for supervisor, man. was just wondering if they're still considering me for that position. Well, the official word is no. <laughs> they're not assigning a permanent supervisor for the color group. May I ask why? I didn't ask why. Jeez. We haven't had one since Miss Jansen got sick. It's been almost a year. Things are working just fine as it. I'm doing the work of a supervisor. Pay her just. Fast with rocket ships, low with advancement. Get those trajectory calcs worked out. Ugh. For the redstone test. Fast with rocket ships, low with advancement. What a crazy irony. Damn, it's so sad. Even in the field of science, they're still relegated to second class. Of course. Yeah, man. Science community? A bunch of pompous dicks. <laughs> <laughs> Go in there. Get it. Turn on the engine. T minus one uh, minute. get out of there. What if they just killed off Janelle Monet right now? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh shit. No, no, no. What if they just kill off Janelle Monet right now? Oh, come on. Get it. Get your heel. Forget it. Forget the heel. Just run. Just get out of there. Yep. Y'all ain't gonna stop it for her, bro. I don't think it's that simple. I don't, I don't think you just turn off. No one's gonna go and help her. Like, what? Why would they risk their own lives <laughs> for someone who wants to save a shoe? Oh, because of because of human decency, I guess. What do I know? <laughs> That's a great shot. <laughs> we alter the exterior from smooth to corrugated. The capsule might have more stability. Hmm. Shield erosion occurs on the posterior side abutting the retro booster. The area closest to the boosters is closest to the heat, coupled with rising temperature on re-entry. Yes. Consider another fastener other than the boat. We should. Yes. I'm, ke I'm keeping up. When <laughs> I keep up with movies like this, it makes me feel smart. <laughs> <laughs> I know just as much as they do. It's almost as if I went to school for this. A person with engineer's mind should be an engineer. You can't be a computer the rest of your life. I'm a Negro woman. I'm not going to entertain the impossible. 
Let me ask you, if you were a white male, would you wish to be an engineer? I wouldn't have to. I'd already be, be one. one. Yeah. Skirts must be worn past the knee. Oh, this is going to be a moving ass film. I can feel it, Aaron. Do not talk to Mr. Harrison unless he talks to you. Things move fast around here. Your clearance. They've never had a colored in here before, Catherine. Don't embarrass me. Ugh. Go kick some rocks, lady. So weird. You see so many movies about racism you hear about all the time, and it never just becomes like, depending on who you are, it's like, like an easy watch, <laughs> you know? <laughs> yeah. This wasn't empty last night. I'm oh, screw you, bro. Custodian. Sometimes I just can't tell if they treat her this way because she's black or because she's a woman. <laughs> or is it both? I think it's a combo sandwich. <laughs> Double threat. Double threat. Double underestimated. Mr. Harrison won't warm up to you. Don't expect it. Do your work. Keep your head down. Thank you. Oh, Mr. Harrison's going to love her. Go on. Get settled. So did these three do like something incredible and uh, their stories just been pushed down as history has unfolded? As I have no idea who we're watching. Yeah, me neither. Shit. And did we make it to the moon? <laughs> <laughs> they got us there, actually. Ruth, what's the status on that computer? She's right behind you, Mr. Harrison. She is the computer. Does she handle analytic geometry? Absolutely. And she speaks. <laughs> you think you can find me the Frenet frame for this data using the Graham Fourth Schmidt? Fourth organization algorithm? Yes, sir. I prefer it over Euclidean coordinates. Oh, that's so hot. Good, then I'm going to need it by the end of the day. God, I love intellect. I'm also going to ask you to check Mr. Stafford's math as well as others on this floor from time to time. I can handle that, I'm Al. sure you can, Paul. Shingles wouldn't be flying off the heat shield now, would they? He really picks on that guy. In 14 days, the Mercury 7 will be here for training, and I have no doubt in my mind that they're going to be asking us questions about our work. Mercury 7? On top of a missile shooting into space, and it's never been done before. Done everything we do between now and then is going to matter. I believe it's going to matter to the whole damn country. It's pretty incredible when you think about it, man. Yeah, the achievements. Yeah. How far we've come as a species. Amazing. Less than 100 years ago, if you tell people we went to the moon, I think you're out of your mind. My numbers are spot on. I will double check them, sir. No problem. What an uphill battle one must climb. I'm not going to be able Work on what you can read. The rest is classified. You don't have clearance. Ugh. I mean, that might just be at the level she's at. It might not have to do. Still, the undertones are there. Are they? I think you're reading too much into it. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. May I ask where the ladies' room is? Sorry. I have no idea where your bathroom is. Oh, oh. my God. I hate this. She might just mean the woman's bathroom, Aaron. <laughs> she... <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. The pressure. The colored of that women's is all coming bathrooms to her. with. The maintenance that's outdated by 15 years. Is she really need to go to the bathroom or she need to, like, need to cry? Or... Maybe both. So I think messy. she really just needs to go to the bathroom. Yeah. She's doing that, uh, the pee pee dance. The, this is so sad. The piss breaths. They're underground too. But I get whenever I have to poop in a stranger's house, do the same thing. <laughs> you drive home. Drive home. <laughs> <laughs> Call an Uber. Whatever it takes. <laughs> oh, oh she probably get more done on the crapper than anyone else. <laughs> Why? Yeah. Ruth, where's that girl with the number? On a break. We'll take breaks now. <laughs> so messed up. She has to do that every time she has to go to the bathroom. Go all the way across the facility. I solved it. I know how to get to space. <laughs> Where have you been? Are you finished yet? Mm, almost. <clears throat> he said by the end of the day. The end of the day around here was yesterday. I need those done first. He wants those done first. Oh, God, and she has to be so submissive. I don't think she hurt like, you. It's like hard to develop agency here. Yeah, 60s being a woman, being a black woman, being a black woman in science. I love how she's just so in her zone now. Like she's so comfortable that she's just in another workplace, not even noticing the people around her. She's actively ignoring it because she has to. I think she's just really in the zone. She's in her comfort zone. Yeah. She forgot for a second. See? Well, she cares about the numbers. She's smarter than all of you. You dumb pencil pushing d d dummy d crackers. Hey, man. Work late like this? Prove yourself? Yeah. Unlike Aaron who wants to get out of here right away. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, I uh, just said, uh, you know, and Stafford's heat show calcs. You're the best one. You're better than all of them. You know what we're doing here? 
trying to put a man into space, sir. That's right. So you can throw that in the trash. Why? It's not an insult to your work. It's just obsolete. That's how fast things are moving around here. If I said I was sorry, I'd be saying it all day. <laughs> So I tell my wife. What I'm asking you to do, what I'm asking everyone in that room, all my geniuses, is to look beyond the numbers, to look around them. That's what she does. Her answers to questions we don't even know to ask. Math that doesn't yet exist. What an interesting way to look at it. Develop a new mathematical system. I don't need another smart girl with an adding machine. Can I go, sir? Yes, you can go. He's the only non-racist one in this whole thinking. place. Yep. I wonder if that's historically accurate. I hope so. I mean, Kevin I, Costner, I think he, he'd object against playing the racist. <laughs> I, feel like he I want no racist lines. I Everyone here movie. is racist but me. <laughs> <laughs> I am the white savior. I, I am good. <laughs> I haven't been late one day in 10 years. I haven't been out sick. My work's on time. It's done right. It's done well. It's not fair. That's a fact. You deserve to be a supervisor. It's having the responsibility of a supervisor, but not the title or the pay. Mm. Let's be told, Dorothy, I don't even know if I can keep up in that room. Why? I'll be back with the computers in a week or out of a job entirely. Oh, please. The real struggles is they have to overcome what's with an in. Just make that pencil move as fast as your mind does. You'll be fine. Trust your intuition. I sound like a supervisor, don't I? A mean old salty one. Riddled with authority, no question. <laughs> These three have really great chemistry. Yeah. I hope they got along in real life. I'd hope so. New assignment. Space task group. Might be a slight promotion. But you want the job, right? It's a challenge. But... Well, it's nothing you can't handle, Catherine. Thank you, Mama. <laughs> oh, fascinating. She's got it all up here, but there's a lack of faith in here. Yeah. What if I support her for Mama is, too? We just wanted to say goodnight. You've been gone for 300 hours. <laughs> I know. I work a full-time job now. You all know that. I have to be Mommy and Daddy. Damn. I miss your father just as much as anyone. Oh, he died. Oh, it's going to be one of those movies. <laughs> you could fly up to space if you wanted to, Mama. Did you draw this? <laughs> Is that me? I love you, baby. Oh, she's even got a rocket behind her, too. Older daughter. All right, now this time, really go to bed. Oh, I wonder if she pursues the same career path as her, as her mom growing up. You got artists in the family. You got others who seem just as intellectual as her. That must be really hard being a mother of three and working at NASA. Mm. Oh, man. His faith in us has no limit. The good Lord has our very own women working on rocket ships. <laughs> and Marshall, Marshall Lee. Lee. <laughs> what? <laughs> Give a shout of praise for Colonel Jim Johnson. Returning home by the grace of God. Set up a... Nah, see, look, she gave him all yeah. shit. New daddy. <laughs> I don't care that daddy's dead. You're probably upgrading. <laughs> I don't I don't understand. Aldous Hodge too? Yeah, Aldous Hodge is in this. That's crazy. Damn. It's like the Black Avengers, Aaron. <laughs> <laughs> NASA's never ever given you guys your due. Having a couple extra degrees ain't gonna change that. Civil rights ain't always civil. Mm. Ain't that the truth? Just the harsh inner belief system. I hear he's planning on staying in there. Well, that's good for him. Go find your way over there. That Colonel Jim is a tall glass of water. <laughs> Strong, commanding. Oh, and I bet he's like that day and night. Mary, it's Sunday. <laughs> Please. It's yeah. Sunday. It's time for an act of sin is what I say. <laughs> Praise him in the sheets. He's coming over. Oh, Marshall Lee must have the hidden figure, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> Are you saying he has a big... Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was saying it's subtle for YouTube purposes. Jeez. She's not married. She's a widow with three beautiful little girls. So well-behaved. Angels on Earth is what we like to call. Wow, you're really selling the daughter point here. Oh, I love single mothers. <laughs> <laughs> really edifying that. Pastor mentioned you're a computer at NASA. We calculate the mathematics necessary to enable launch and landing for the space program. That is really well, easy to understand. Pretty heady stuff. They let women handle that sort of... Uh-oh, not the sexism. That's not what I mean. That's exactly what I mean. That's <laughs> what I mean. Just surprised it's something so taxing. Mm -hmm. Mr. Johnson. 
<laughs> I mean, a disrespect. Let me top it off with a third sexist statement. Right you, can, you can just put that foot back in. <laughs> put that shoe back in your foot. I analyze the barometer levels for air displacement, friction, and velocity, and compute over 10,000 calculations by cosine, square root, and lately analytic geometry. Tell him. His balls just fell off. <laughs> and we're proud to be doing our part for the country. Talk to him. So, yes. They let women do some things at NASA, Mr. Johnson. And it's not because we wear skirts. It's because we wear glasses. <laughs> Hit her. so fine. I mean, no, I don't know what I, why that came out of me. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Handsome must be a requirement, too. How could you possibly be ogling these white men? I was equal rights. I have the right to see fine in every color. <laughs> And that's John Glenn. Oh my God, Glenn the cast Powell. just gets better. What do you ladies do for NASA? Calculate your trajectories, launch and landing. Well, you can't get anywhere without the numbers. No, sir. Mary Jackson, Mr. Glenn, engineering, and I'm proud as the devil to be working. I love the initiative she takes. Yeah. You gotta be shitting me. Yeah, they just had to have so much patience back then. They didn't even fill it. Ugh, y'all are the worst. Civil rights may not be so civil. Mr. Harrison wants you to confirm launch and landing for the Redstone rocket test. Wow. I cannot work on what I cannot see, Mr. Staff. Those numbers have already been confirmed by two engineers in this department and myself. This is more or less a dummy check. <sighs> wow. Wow, underscore that word enough. Hmm. Off the first page, the first thing you read? <laughs> She's that good. You got that far? <laughs> <laughs> what are you? <laughs> she can read the hidden figures. I love the music they choose. Almost gives it a bit of a film noir touch. Mm, yeah. Singing jazzy. <laughs> Who directed this? Really like the way the movie's framed. Our runner can pick up your work, Dorothy. You need to be working, not walking. Oh, it's, it's break time. Ugh. You need something else? I was wondering if you know what they're building over in the tech wing. It's called an IBM, a mainframe machine. Apparently, it can do our calculations in a fraction of the time. Replace them. <laughs> Is everyone just watching her? She got it off the first page. They're watching her like a hawk. They think she's doing graffiti, Greg. <laughs> <laughs> what are those symbols? Like, what are the gang signs you're writing up there, <laughs> woman? Huh? <laughs> My God. <laughs> she wrote on the white people's chalkboard. <laughs> <laughs> Whose work is that? It's good. I love it. Catherine Goble, sir. Oh, man. They're going to set you up with like a porta potty right next to your desk now. <laughs> Classified information. It's top secret. Well, it's no secret why the redstone tests keep failing. It's fine for suborbital flight, but it can't handle the weight of the capsule and push it into space. God, I don't know what you're saying half this movie, but it is so cool. It makes you so mm -hmm. fine. And you figured all that out with this. Well, what's there tells the story if you read between the lines. Mm -hmm. Distance from launch to orbit, we know. Redstone mass, we know. Mercury capsule weight and the speeds are there. You did the math. Yes, sir. IBM couldn't do it. No, no. IBM could not do it. And how do you know about the Atlas rocket? That data's not here, like you said. It's classified. I held it up to the light. Well, there it is. <laughs> oh, yeah. Are you a spy, Catherine? Am I what? I said, are you a Russian spy? I'm not Russian. <laughs> She's not Russian, sir. <laughs> just, to, just to confirm. She's a white lady. You can trust her. <laughs> this interrogation's over. Figures out something amazing, and the first thing, she becomes suspect. That's how it goes, sadly. I mean, it's really an ultimate tense time for everyone here, you know? Yeah. And then to be a black woman involved in the middle of a very tense place like this with so much at stake. Yeah. In the middle of achieving a major historical feat. Yes, that's what I'm talking about, Aaron. <laughs> <laughs> NASA doesn't commission females for the engineer training program. That position is available to any qualified act. Right, except you don't have the educational requirements. I have a bachelor's degree in mathematics and physical science. It's the same as most engineers. That's right. Damn, you're genius. 
we have a chance to get ahead, they move to finish line. I just follow the rules around here, and I expect everyone who works for me to follow them as well. And I love the rules. Y'all should be thankful you have jobs at all. What was that? Saying y'all should be thankful you have jobs at all. No, I like the weird, like a weird edit or a weird cut. No, that was the streamer. Oh, oops. Way to call attention to it. <laughs> oh, that was a weird editing choice. <laughs> Won't any trouble in here. Oh, I'm not here for any trouble, man. What are you here for? To mind my own damn business. A book. You have books in the card section. <laughs> Prevent them from literature. Why? Oh, I'm so mad. <laughs> you took that book, Mom? Son, I pay tax. <laughs> and taxes pay for everything in that library. Hey, hey, take man. something you already paid for. That's why I steal from the library. <laughs> Fortran is a new and exciting language used by programmers to communicate with mm. computers. It is exciting as it is the wave of the future. This book is not as interesting as I hoped it would be. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I grabbed a fantasy novel. <laughs> it's just crazy to like this is a PG version of it, you know? And it wasn't that long ago. Like there's still there's still so many horrible places to be right now and yeah. racism is still so real, but like this being the norm. <sighs> Everywhere, it's not that long ago. There is still sundown towns, yeah. which is insane. Yeah. Come on, you know you want to. <laughs> Great, I simply misspoke the other day, Mrs. Goat. I've been away for a long time. Imagine I'm just out of practice. I went to a woman's rights class. <laughs> I attended the first seminar. <laughs> Stopped by a woman, barely paid attention. <laughs> <laughs> You haven't said you're sorry yet. Right. Of course. Look at this weird swaying happening. They're just like barely moving. <laughs> I'm sorry, Catherine. Underestimating you and any other woman like you. Though I don't imagine there's many. Mm -mm. That's a really good way to finish that line off. I've mm -hmm. changed. My perspective is enhanced. But you are still very unique in my eyes. Oh, so, so well done. Yuri Gagarin has become the first man in space. Gagarin completed one full orbit around the... Damn it. ...cosmonaut Yuri Gagarin's 3KA capsule into orbit, re-entering Russian airspace at 7.55 UTC. You know, racism, whatever. This is what made America embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine being the first man in space. That'd be horrifying. Yeah. Oh my god. No one's, no one's ever been this high before. <laughs> I've been asking myself all the way over here, which is how in the hell do we find ourselves in second place in a two man race? Why do we suck? I refuse to believe that the Russians are smarter than us or that they have more technology or that they care more. Is it possible that it actually means more to them? We're in the fight of our lives, people. I just saw seven faces who aren't sure that we can get there. Wow. There's only two things you need to know going forward. One is staying here, working late, that's going to be a fact of life. And two, don't expect your paychecks to reflect the extra time it's going to take to catch up and pass those bastards. What a bold statement. I suggest you call your wives on how it's going to be. Let's start with mine. Working late. Has anyone quit? Who will quit from this? I just want to be a part of it. There's too much pressure. I got to go. <laughs> I don't, don't want to be a part of it, man. I wouldn't want to be a part of such a historical moment. I'm trying to make history here. Fascinating simulation process. End of the day. Damn. A little aggressive there. Yeah, we're, we're looking good. Way to go, IBM. You don't want to leave that behind. Which one of you wants to go first? <laughs> Mm -hmm. He's always playing people that like to fly. <laughs> yeah. This is like his third movie. <laughs> this is yeah. typecast role. <laughs> the guy who gets in a in a in a uh, aer aerial vehicle, <laughs> <laughs> some sort of craft. Yeah. yeah, Top Gun, that one with Jonathan Majors, and this one. The computer uses it as its high-speed storage unit and information holding device. You have a brain that I can work with. Oh, that's in the wrong spot. I really like the way they're they're written. 
like our three three female leads. Like there's nothing about it that sounds like preachy at all about them. But they are like they have real personality and they are also really intelligent, <laughs> you know. Yeah, I know. Uh, it, it feels it feels very authentic. Where is she? <laughs> woo, woo. She is always it's leaving sincere. having fun. Get I mean, this girl a bathroom, man. She should have she she should have addressed it. She should. Oh, and her hair got all messed up too. Damn. Where the hell have you been? Now where the hell do you go every day? Oh. Hmm. To the bathroom, sir. For forty minutes a day? What are you doing there? We're T minus zero here. I put a lot of faith in you. Oh, jeez. There's no bathroom for me here. What do you mean there's no bathroom for you there here? There is no bathroom. There are no colored bathrooms in this building or any building outside the West Camp. Oh. I have Half to a walk mile. to Timbuktu just to relieve myself. And I can't use one of the handy bikes. Picture that, Mr. Harrison. Oh, you feel embarrassed now, don't you, lady? Skirt below my knees, my heels, and a simple string of pearls. Well, I don't own pearls. Lord knows you don't pay colors enough to afford pearls. Jesus. And I work like a dog. <sighs> living off a of coffee from a pot none of you want to touch. <sighs> wow. Excuse me, if I have to go to the restroom a few times a day. I just feel pretty embarrassed now, man. And she's treated like garbage. He defeated racism. No, now she can't have any coffee. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, he's doing it. He's white saving us. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> I mean, in this, you kind of need a white savior in this position, you know? Yeah. There we have it. Uh, they're not going to listen to. No more white restrooms. Just plain old toilets. Go wherever you damn well, please. God damn. Preferably closer to your desk. Men and women share the same bathrooms now. <laughs> Something tell me that didn't actually happen. <laughs> That's the only thing I believe that happened. <laughs> Women are equal. Women are equal. Women are equal. <laughs> Women are equal and blacks. Women and blacks. <laughs> I heard you was fighting the flu. Thinking you could use some soup. Hot meal for the girls. Okay, ladies. Let's say grades. Uh-oh. Oh, she getting sick sick. Ooh. Might as well be married now. It's a historic day here at Cape Canaveral, and here's what we can expect. Alan Shepard and Freedom 7 will be launched into space at an altitude of about 116 miles an hour. What's taking them so long to get to space, man? Mm. Russians did it a while ago. God, you lazy Americans. Get it together. Freedom 7, we're going to have to bleed off some of the pressure inside the liquid oxygen tank. That should some That's good practical. Visuals. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, damn, CGI. That's good CGI. <laughs> we have ignition. And we have lift. It's cool they're intersplicing it with real footage. Yeah. Come Fun on. Fun fact. I don't know if that's real footage. <laughs> <laughs> sure looks real. And 34 minutes after the hour. Definitely real that's footage. Real. Yep. Yeah, they really got 100%. that shot. Y'all is okay. Switching manual roll. Woo! We did it. We're catching up. The eyes of the world now look into space, to the moon, and to the planets beyond. And we have vowed that we shall not see it governed by a hostile... Oh, no. But by a battle Oh, no. Never mind. It's a lot harder to intersplice this than it looks. Wow. Because there is new knowledge... Totally real. Real footage. I suppose we should all thank President Kennedy for the continued job security. That's right. Uh, Gus Grissom's up next. Another suborbital flight with a redstone. A sucker for snaps. <laughs> Before we strap Glenn to the Atlas, pray we can bring him back down. Yes, and I imagine he'd like us to have the math worked out beforehand. Good work, gentlemen. Wow. She's the only one in color in that whole room. Oh, she must feel special. <laughs> the colored girl in color. A little spot on movie. <laughs> <laughs> What I like about this, hmm. you know how they're normally like a movie will, will have like the relegated lo female love interest. Mm -hmm. That's what Mahershal Ali is. He's just the love interest. Guy. <laughs> <laughs> he is the love interest. Look at him. That 
think it's high time I kissed you, Gaff. I figured you attracted to me, same as out of you. He's got the greatest voice, I swear. Well, you'd have told me to get going a long time ago. The man is smooth. I'm gonna kiss you now. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't kissed a man in a long time. Almost forgot how to. Aww. Let me remind you. <laughs> yeah. Don't do it again. Damn. You still got the flu, baby. Arrested four white men accused of throwing a firebomb into a Freedom Rider bus. That is a tragic event. It is a struggle to save the soul of America. Mary Jackson. It's just crazy. They, I like how they're putting the backdrop of what's going on in the in, in, in America when it comes to black people. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, you got these black women. We're doing incredible things that sh help shape a big part of our history. Yeah. It's really And they, they've really been important. Yeah, undervalued, even in today's standards, because most people don't know about them. Hampton High School is a white school, Mrs. Jackson. Yes, Your Honor, I'm aware of that. What would warrant a colored woman attending a white school? May I approach your bench, sir? Woo! <laughs> Cover. <laughs> you of all people should understand the importance of being first. How's that, Mrs. Jackson? Well, you were the first in your family to serve in the armed forces, U.S. Navy. Damn. I bet most people don't know this. And the first state judge to be recommissioned by three consecutive governors. She did her research. No Negro woman in the state of Virginia has ever attended an all-white high school. And before Alan Shepard sat on top of a rocket, no other American had ever touched space. And now he will forever be remembered as the U.S. Navy man from New Hampshire, the first to touch the stars. I mainly think about Neil Armstrong. I plan on being an engineer at NASA, but I can't do that without taking them classes at that all-white high school. And I can't change the color of my skin. So I have no choice but to be the first, which I can't do without you, sir. Hell yeah. That's Break cool. that mold. That's cool. Out of all the cases you're going to hear today, which one is going to matter 100 years from now? Mm. Which one is going to make you the first? You trying to make history or what? Only the night classes. Jeez. Of course. Oh, damn. Oh, shit. She slapped her name on there. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'd like to get a jump on John Glenn's trajectory. Uh, do you have any idea what you're asking? An orbital launch with an Atlas rocket is going to take time. Is there a problem? I was wondering. Uh-huh. Well, I've been wondering my whole life, so you just spit it out. <laughs> <gasps> I would like to get a jump on John Glenn's trajectory. It's like shooting a sawed-off shotgun from a 1,000 feet and getting that one BB through a hole so tiny you can't even see it. I'm an excellent shot. <laughs> How about uh, Grissom numbers, Ben? They've been spot on. Give Glenn's orbit a go. Why does everyone keep, everyone just doubts her every time, but she just keeps proving them wrong? How many times you got to prove herself before you trust this woman? Damn. Computers don't author reports. That guy's such a prick. I bet he's a Russian spy. Loud and clear. Okay, it's a nice ride up to now. Roger. Liberty Bell 7, this is Hope 1. Approaching radar card over. I read you loud and clear. Over. Space was cool at first. But it's kind of boring out there. <laughs> it's nothing to do out there. <laughs> Lack of stimulation, I gotta say. <laughs> Floating gets old after a while. Unfortunately, the Liberty Bell 7 capsule is lost. No, gravity's a little underrated. Overrated. Oh, the capsule was lost. Oof. Yeah, you shouldn't have made any jokes, Aaron. <laughs> it's very insensitive. <laughs> We have to know what's out there, Senator. We have to touch the stars, if only to ensure our own survival, and only a man can do that. We'll get John Glenn home safely because we have to, because he has to tell us what he saw. And that's the only reason. <laughs> <laughs> Atlas rocket goes up, delivers the capsule into an elliptical orbit. Earth's gravity keeps pulling at it, but it's going so fast, it keeps missing the Earth. Getting it back down, that's the math we don't know. I figured it out. So the capsule will spin around the Earth forever because there's nothing to slow it down? It's slowing it down at precisely the right moment, at precisely the right amount, that's the task. Yes, Catherine? <laughs> to move from an elliptical mm. orbit to parabolic. No, at this point, it's a pinhead. We bring him in too soon. He burns up on reentry. We bring him in too late. He's pushed out of Earth's gravity. And any changes to mass, weight, speed, time, and we start our calculations. 
Oh, this will be very precise. Yeah. I thought it was easy. <laughs> <laughs> just get out of there. <laughs> He's just going to try and magnet. <laughs> Uh, Pentagon briefing should illuminate where the Navy needs the recovery zone. Then we work backwards from there. And the uh, rest is on us. So let's get to work. I just love how it's like a mission priority. It's not some, hey, wouldn't it be great to figure out how to get to space? <laughs> They're like, this is life or death. <laughs> we need to space. <laughs> Everything's right on this. Well, we can't keep up. I need those changes as they occur. As you said, it's a pinhead. Uh, Catherine, that's the job. When I mean, you ask for this assignment, so just calculate with what you have, or we'll find someone who can. Oh my no, god! You will, you will not be able to. You guys just value this woman, please. Not a girl. <laughs> hey, what the hell are you doing? You can't be in here. She fixed the machine. Dorothy Vaughn, sir. Well, this is a very delicate piece of equipment. I'm sorry, sir. I'm just trying to be helpful. She fixed it. We've got numbers. What kind of numbers? She just wants to be a supervisor. She deserves it. What's your name again? Dorothy Vaughn. Dorothy Vaughn. She keeps the job. They need someone like her. Keep that job. Get that raise. Oh, I do, this is all moot. We're altering the window on the capsule. When did this happen? Six minutes ago. The math is changing. Start over. If I could attend the briefings, I could stay. Catherine, we have been through this. It is not possible. There is no protocol for. Is there a problem? Yeah, look, Catherine, in the briefings. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Costner, use white safe. Costner, <laughs> there's a big cost to not letting her in there. It cost her <laughs> opportunity. <laughs> Just keep slapping your goddamn name on there. <laughs> Mr. Harrison, I would like to attend today's briefing. Why is that? Well, so the data changes so fast. The capsule changes, the weight and the landing zones are all changing every day. She needs to be in there. Colonel Glenn launches in a few weeks. We don't have the man figured out yet. Why is it she can't attend? Because she doesn't have clearance, Al. I cannot do my work effectively. It's because she's a Negro, Al. Pentagon briefings are not for civilians. It requires the highest clearance. I feel like I'm the best person to present my calculations. Let this go, are you? No, I am not. And, and she is a woman. There is no protocol for a woman. Okay, I get meetings. that part, Paul. I'm a good man. <laughs> Kevin Costner plays good people. <laughs> <laughs> Makes the rules. You, sir, you are the boss. You just have to act like one, sir. Man, this guy, I feel like this guy's gonna say, is he like the villain of the movie? <laughs> <laughs> this dude's gonna sabotage everything. See, he also has a hidden figure. Mm. It's because it's really tiny. You can't even, That's can't clever. even find it. <laughs> Her work is pertinent to today's proceedings. Come on. <laughs> We're just staring at her. So awkward. With all due respect, our capsule's being altered daily. We're orbiting the Earth at what speed now? Uh, she can answer. 17,544 miles per hour. That's what yeah. I'm talking about. At the time the rocket delivers the capsule into low space orbit. There it is. So we have the vehicle speed, the launch window, and for argument's sake, the landing zone is the Bahamas. Should be enough to figure the go, no go? Yeah, in theory, sir. We need to be past theory at this point. We'll be able to. It's just a theory. <laughs> <laughs> a space theory. Yeah, a space theory. <laughs> Catherine, have a go at it. Do your thing, Catherine. Do your thing. Catherine, I allow you to use the white chalk. Now, if I was one of these background players, I'd be overdoing it. <laughs> I'd be like... <laughs> <laughs> Black woman <laughs> in the room. If we assume that's the Bahamas at 17,544 miles per hour yeah. upon re entry, yeah, yeah, screw you, IBM. Of 46.56. I think IBM's actually been very helpful for us. I, need, I should take it back. Do they still use it? Do you know? Do they? I don't know. It's chat GPT now. <laughs> 32 feet and the distance would be 20 million. I gotta go to work, man. I wonder what her preparation process was for this movie. This is a good question. 90 miles old. He's like, I've never seen her actually do this. <laughs> this is crazy. It's my first time. This is crazy. That's awesome. It's your landing zone at 5.0667 degrees north. Yep. Three three degrees west. 
Makes you feel like a real ass now. <laughs> Jim Parsons is like, get out! Yeah. <laughs> you don't have clearance! <laughs> You're a woman! That, of course, is assuming the capsule hits the re-entry point exact. How do we ensure that? He's still so shocked by what he just witnessed. <laughs> We're working on it. Catherine? Gentlemen, I'd like to sleep with her. <laughs> <laughs> that was the hottest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> Programmers, folks to feed the cars. Okay, we'll get them for crying out loud. Okay. All right. You're the IBM man, right? Yes, sir. We'll pull my other guy if you have to. Let's get ahead of this thing. I'm not paying you. Where's that black girl? Get that black girl back here. <laughs> Kara Kosh is going to be like, are, are all the black girls running everything around here? <laughs> <laughs> it's like they've had to do all this in the shadows that are coming to the light. Temporarily, yes. We need the IBM for Glenn's launch. The lead engineer says you're good with the cards programming. They're the hidden figures. <laughs> is that what the movie's title is? <laughs> <laughs> what about after now? A after Glenn's launch, NASA's dissolving the computing group. Really? I'm not accepting reason mm. unless I bring my ladies with me. There you go. There you go. We're going to need a lot of manpower to program that beast. I can't do it alone. Oh my God, so cool. And they know they need her so no matter they need her so bad. Like, yeah. Oh, way to elevate. We've been reassigned. Oh God, I'm nothing like her. I would abandon everyone here at this channel for greater <laughs> success. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, ladies. Holy Ooh. shit, this is all a true story. I, I, hope I, so. I gotta look up what's true and what is true. That's that is wild. That, ah, that's so amazing. That is so cool. I gotta look this up. I, I gotta. Let's pause the movie. <laughs> <laughs> right now. <laughs> ah, look at her mathing away. Saying things I'll never understand. <laughs> Find the genius among those geniuses. Pull us all up. We all get to the peak together or we don't get there at all. Well, good night, sir. You're fired, Paul. I don't know what time I'm coming home. You got something to say? Thought you might need to. You can refill them with any weight ledge. Man, these two would have such beautiful children. Two gorgeous people. You're going to make a fine engineer. You think so? Yes. Aww. And nobody that stand in the way of Mary Jackson's dream. <laughs> Aww. You'll make me late. You're going to be late. I'll make it. <laughs> You're going to be late. It's nice to see a movie where like it's men supporting like yeah, the it's just right. like the men supporting women and uh supportive black and, men. And, they're, they're, and and you got these two male like, leading actors who are who are relegated to the romance <laughs> You just don't see that that often. I'm Mary Jackson. I'm in a row. Man, maybe you're this right. This is all high schoolers, Aaron. Yeah. <laughs> Some in the water back then. Curriculum is not designed for teaching a woman. Well, I imagine it's the same as teaching a man. I don't see a colored section. Should I just take any seat? <sighs> Thank you. That's cool. Take the front. Okay. Everyone That's looking at a high schooler. <laughs> <laughs> it's when the capsule moves from an elliptical orbit to a parabolic orbit. There's no mathematical formula for that. Calculate launch and landing, but without this conversion, the capsule stays in orbit. We can't bring it back home. Right, right, right. I, I think I know what you're saying. Maybe we've been thinking about this all wrong. Oh, yeah, maybe. Yeah, How's that? yeah, definitely. I'm right there yes, in the room yes. with you guys. That's how you keep my job. <laughs> uh -huh, yeah, uh -huh. Something that looks at the problem numerically and not theoretically. Mm, that's a good point. Euler's method. Euler's method. Yes. Mutter, mutter. <laughs> <laughs> but that's ancient. Ponder, ponder, but ponder, ponder. What a radical way of thinking! That's it. Let's type it up. Are you gonna let her put her name on it? You're gonna give her the credit. I think he's gonna have that moment. Be like, hey, it doesn't say by Catherine. Yeah, see. Yeah. Uh, oh, he's gonna. Uh, have, he's gonna have his moment where he says it. Do it, man. Do it. We need redemption, or else I'm not gonna watch Big Bang Theory anymore. <laughs> I hear the IBM's up to full capacity. You certainly have a knack for it. My father taught me a thing or two about mechanics. Mm. I have a few girls in the East group that have an interest in learning more about it. Mm. That's not my decision, ma'am. That would be the supervisor. <gasps> yes, that's true. Are you going to offer it to her in the bathroom? You know, Dorothy, despite what you may think, I have nothing against y'all. I know you probably believe that. Mm. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> tell, her, 
<laughs> Damn, she just knows how to. Tammy is best for knows how to drop lines like that. She's, <laughs> She's so like, good. Like, you don't know what she's gonna say, but something clever is about to come out of her mouth. <laughs> some bar is oh, about to drop. Some truth, <laughs> yeah. truth bombs in here. You probably believe that. <laughs> Wait, is it my birthday? No, Mama. You all look so pretty. It's Daddy's death anniversary. Mama, what's going on? Good evening, Catherine. What's happening? Okay, well, I'm not going to do this all night. Oh, Mother of Mercy. That's for me. Oh, is he doing this in front of the whole family? No. Aw. No. It's okay, Mama. He's a good man. I know. Oh. What? I don't know, I just, I just can't help you. He hasn't even asked him yet. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. No. This is my mother's ring. It's beautiful. She and my father were married for, her. for 52 years. <laughs> that girl's good at numbers. I said, Mom, I met the woman I want to marry. What'd she say? <laughs> she said she must be something, Jimmy, really something. And what'd you say? <laughs> I said, no. She's more than something. She's everything. Oh, hell yeah, this guy's good to him, man. I plan on this being more romantic. I'll make that up to you real soon. This is great. What are you talking about? But I know marrying you includes marrying your girls as well. That is so sweet. I do. <laughs> I didn't ask you yet. Hurry up. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that is so sweet. That can't be true. No, no man's as smart. <laughs> <laughs> To do it for the whole family like that? Oh, that's great. It's like proposing to me, like, will you accept me as your stepfather? That's great. In fact, our IBM is churning out numbers in fractions of the time any human can, present company included. That's good, then. They haven't even, like, been able to really talk with each other, huh? The girls. No, it's been a minute since we've seen them all together. Bang has the capes now, insisting on doing all the backups down there on site. So we won't be running backups here. And truth be told, we can't keep up with that IBM anyhow. I mean? Long story short, we no longer need a computer in this department. Wow. She got you guys this far and she's going to throw her away like trash? We heard you got engaged. Yes. Huh. It's thoughtful of you. Oh. Mr. Harrison's idea, really. Although I suspect his wife did the picking out. Can't imagine he has an eye for anything but numbers. No, you have a great one. Did good work around here, Catherine. White people approve. Crazy how there's like a sense of irony about it, you know? Because she helped get the IBM thing working. Putting her out of a job. And a little fuller. <laughs> but you look good. Here we go. Again. Yeah. <laughs> Octavia advancing herself kind of screwed over a friend. <laughs> That's what I was. <laughs> <laughs> Paul, something's off here. These landing coordinates don't match yesterday's. That's why you can't trust chat GBT. <laughs> Even though it comes up with everything I say on camera. <laughs> Even that was scripted by chat GBT. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm just reading a prop right now. <laughs> the IBM's been spot on up to this Cape point. Keep Canaveral. We'll run it again, see what it comes up with. When I fly, I fly the machine. And right now, it seems like this machine's flying me. Let's get the girl to check the numbers. Wow, really? Did that really happen? You mean Catherine? Yes, sir. Smart one. I mean, she says they're good. I'm ready to go. All right, we'll get into it. Roger. Did that call really have it? I wonder. I mean, wow. I hope so. Yeah. Go find Catherine Goble. I mean, she needs to verify Glenn's go, no go, or we're staying on the ground. Is she at her wedding right now? <laughs> does she already get married? Do we, she had a wedding again, and there was a time trip, or is she? I have to imagine for movie purposes, they're going to have it happen at her wedding. We need you. Yeah. Like, as she's about to say her vows. We didn't see the wedding. No. I feel like this is happening simultaneously. I love how he's having to do the running too now. Looking for Catherine Goble. It's Catherine Johnson now. They need you to figure out. Oh, these okay. Never mind. Man. I wish we would have saw the wedding. Let's all gather. John Glenn is ready to board the Friendship Seven. But today we remain truly optimistic, and it's a go day in all regards. God, I gotta become a billionaire so I can go to space. <laughs> what would you do in space with your billions? Take a dump. <laughs> Watch it spin in the yeah. air. <laughs> I, I win. <laughs> After years of waiting and months of delay, Colonel Glenn is finally ready for that space flight. Were the calculations wrong? What the devil are you doing? Are you taking a break? 
<laughs> now they're gonna run half a mile. <laughs> I shut her out. Costner, bring her in. Tear down that, that door. They had her run all the Bad way 14. there and then they just shut her out. That's crazy. Costner's gonna open it though. What they? Costner. Yeah. Costner! Costner! <laughs> Come on, I'm saving you. Come on. <laughs> Did that really happen? <laughs> I doubt it. <laughs> what happened, movies? I, I, I would love to see. I gotta find out. I gotta find out. We can confirm the go no go point for re entry is. It's in his contract. It's like, I have to wipe save a minimum of three times. Hey, man, he's doing it. Let him do his thing. <laughs> he danced with wolves. Now he saves black people. <laughs> <laughs> a true American hero. The launch window is a go. The landing coordinates match. Well, that is very good news, Al. It's uh, a little hard to trust some. You can't look in the eyes. Catherine did manage to calculate a few decimal points further than yeah. that of metal. And we are watching this on Disney Plus right now. <laughs> <laughs> Who would echo the same sentiment as Chuck <laughs> Lendron? <laughs> Three, two, one, zero, ignition. Awesome. Let's get a little bumpy along here. Roger that. You are in Max Q. Whoa. Wow. John Glenn reports everything <laughs> looks good. You go, Glenn. How, what's his name? Howard? John Glenn Powell. <laughs> <laughs> we go, Glenn Powell. <laughs> Woo! Thank you, Capcom. Pilot away. All right, ten and a half hours to go. If we make seven round trips. Honestly, I feel like you get over space really fast. You get bored. All right, ten hours. I'm, I'm good. I don't think I need to do it again. It's not everything I need to see. New assignment came down the pike. Always changing around here. It's hard to keep up. Whoa, yeah. what? They're going to need a permanent team to feed that IBM. How big of a team? 30, to start. Thank you for the information, Mrs. Mitchell. You're quite welcome, Mrs. Vaughn. Now, do you think, do you still think I'm racist? <laughs> do, you, do you like me now? <laughs> <laughs> Have I been redeemed? <laughs> <laughs> I like these uh, cheesy overcome racist <laughs> I really do. I think I like them all. I don't hate colors. My dog's black. <laughs> the heat shield may have come loose. Seven, will you confirm the landing bag is in the off position? Affirmative, Capcom. <gasps> now she's going to have to do something exclusive that IBM cannot solve. <laughs> NASA is confirming there is some sort of malfunction with the capsule's heat shield, and it may not stay in place. Jesus. The retro package straps might might hold it in place. It will hold it until he reaches the go no go point. It will work. He has to override the zero five G. You should get your engineer in here. The retro package not, I repeat, not be jettisoned. Is that you will have to override the zero five G switch? Is there a reason for this? Over. Do we tell him the truth? I don't want to freak him out. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> He's not a professional. <laughs> <laughs> you can't handle the pressure. Not at this time, Seb. Roger that command. Without a heat shield, there is no way that Colonel Glenn can get back through the Earth's atmosphere. Bum, bum, bum. Well, I don't know if I've seen a movie that actually captures this, where you just see, like, the civilians all watching and looking up at the sky. So usually, like, cut to people, like, watching the television or listening to news, but yeah. it's like, oh, man, there's a guy up there right now, you know? <laughs> like, how weird. <laughs> I wonder if people actually did this, though. I like, bet. They, oh, I bet, yeah. Like, actually, like, gather, like, we're looking up at the sky and shit. Yeah. When this was happening. Yeah. This Midday. Is like a, man, they're all listening to this. This is a monumental moment. Capcom, you're going out. He's crossing the communication blackout zone. There's a real fireball outside. It's getting a little hot in here. Fireball outside. No, there's not. <laughs> Capcom, you can be. It's getting hot in here. Friendship 7, do you copy? Over. Again. Friendship 7, do you copy? Over. Boom. 
<laughs> That's fucked up. Friendship seven, do you copy? Over. Loud and clear, Capcom. <laughs> Roger that. How are you doing? I feel like my soul's on fire, but I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> Engaging shoots. Beautiful shoot. Your go, no go is good. Landing coordinates are spot on, seven. I've always wanted to swim in the Bahamas. Over. Like these scenes are so prevalent in movies, but imagine just like it has the emotional resolution of something like this, but like something goes horribly wrong at the end. John Glenn has splashed down safely and is being recovered by the USS Noah. Hell yeah, man. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. You think we can get to the moon? We're already there, sir. <gasps> Post credit scene, Catherine will return. <laughs> <laughs> Hit figures too. <laughs> <laughs> John Glenn successfully completed three of his scheduled seven orbit flight. Yeah. Well done, John. It was all you. His friendship sent mission to the Titan Space Race, planning NASA to the moon in 1969. That's what I'm talking about. America. Yeah. Mary Jackson and NASA's and America's first female African American aeronautical engineer. In 1909, she was appointed Langley's woman program manager, where she fought to advance women of all colors. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Kirsten Dutton's not racist in real life. <laughs> First African American supervisor. Wow. God damn. As a four-term specialist on the frontier of electronic computing, she was regarded as one of the most brilliant minds in NASA. Oh, awesome. What a what a step up. That's amazing. Oh yeah. Put your name woo, on that woo, paper. Woo, woo, woo. Put your name on that document, Catherine. You earned it. Oh, what? You getting her the coffee oh, now? Oh, white redemption. We've come a long <laughs> way. <laughs> Catherine was fired shortly later. <laughs> wow, we're target. <laughs> we have to perform calculations for the Apollo 2 mission to the moon and space shuttle. That's what I'm talking about. NASA dedicated the Catherine G. Johnson Computational Building honor for groundbreaking work in space travel. That's awesome. Man, these three women are, are incredible. 97? 97? Awarded the Damn. Presidential Medal of Freedom and celebrated 56th anniversary of Jim Johnson. Awesome. That's amazing. I'm sure everything was just great for her, you know? This whole <laughs> journey. I'm sure we no didn't leave more, anything out. No more racism <laughs> after this. Wow. Oh, wow. That's not real her. She looks just like her. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Exactly like her. Damn. Yeah. Kind of looks like Tessa Thompson, actually. I can see that. Yeah. Whoa, wow, Barry Jackson. Barry Jackson. Look at them, ladies. Wow, ladies. That's beautiful. That's awesome. Hidden figures. Wow. Indeed. Damn. I'd watch a I'd watch a documentary about them. Oh yeah. In my own time. Don't ask us to react. Catherine will return. Alright. <laughs> I must. I must. I mean, I want to see the photos, but must prepare <laughs> for for fact checking. <laughs> must learn if what's true and what isn't true. <laughs> must download information on factual must, accuracy. Must learn. But did this Kevin Costner actually tear the sign down? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> did he open that door for her? Hey, is, is it based hey, on a book or something? Based on real life. Damn, look at those people that <laughs> worked on. Oh, wow. Well, look at that. Oh, cool. Wow. Oh. <gasps> oh, wow. That's amazing. Man, it would have been great to meet one of them. The story. I would have shaken their head and been like, I know exactly what it feels like to be you. <laughs> <laughs> I, I can, I have very similar experience. I completely identify with everything you've been through. Everything before and during. Oh my God, look, it's Mahershal Holy. Hey, man. You're not like a black man. This is light skinned, very light skinned. Glenn Powell? I look like an Asian guy. Are you sure? <laughs> that was an Asian guy. <laughs> Glenn Powell kind of looks like an Asian guy. <laughs> <laughs> no, but Herschel Lee's guy. Oh. Uh. 
Woo! Snap diggity. Yeah, yeah. Thanks to everyone who worked on this movie. Thank you to America's number one meal kit, HelloFresh, for partnering with us. It's always great to partner with people whose services you actually use because as someone like me who's always juggling a packed schedule between filming and editing, finding time for healthy eating can be a challenge. That's where HelloFresh has been a game changer for my life. With HelloFresh, I get farm fresh pre-portioned ingredients and delicious recipes delivered right to my doorstep so I don't have to step outside. It's revolutionized my home cooking experience, making it not just easy, but super enjoyable and and affordable. Keyword, I recently tried their delicious barbecue pineapple flatbreads and their zucchini pomodoro penne bake. Both were mouthwateringly delicious and fit perfectly with my pescatarian lifestyle. Pescatarian, <laughs> that's so offensive. And asking my friends who love meat, HelloFresh has an incredible variety. It tempts me to be a meat eater again. People I know have really recommended their lemon parsley chicken paylard, I think is how you pronounce it, and the fuego chicken fajita tacos. Regardless, HelloFresh menu has something for everyone. But of course, it's not just about the food. It's about saving time too, not having to wait in line at a grocery store, even self-checkouts on fast enough these days. The convenience of having everything delivered pre-portioned right to your door is priceless, especially with their quick and easy meals like 15-minute recipes, spending less time in the kitchen and more time doing what I love, which is filming and editing. So here's the deal. If you want a great way to support the channel and also support, you know, having a new lifestyle, a healthy, affordable lifestyle in the year 2024, go to HelloFresh.com slash Rejects Free and use code Rejects Free for free breakfast for life. You heard that right. One breakfast item per box while the subscription is is active. Free breakfast for life for HelloFresh.com slash rejects free. Use promo code rejects free. Try it out and let me know your favorite dishes. Stay healthy and let's keep enjoying those movies and shows. All right, Reject Nation, let's get real for a moment. Running this channel is incredible, but managing finances, especially taxes and budgeting, both for the channel and my personal life, can be overwhelming. That's where Rocket Money has been a financial lifesaver for me, even before I ever partnered up with them. Like I said, I've been very fortunate to be working with brands whose products I already use, so it's a win-win for a while. But it can be a win-win for you too because there's a reason I use them. Rocket Money is a personal finance app that simplifies managing money by canceling unnecessary subscriptions, lowering bills, and crafting a budget that fits your specific lifestyle. For someone like me who can easily lose track of expenses throughout every single day of the month, it's been eye-opening to see where I was overspending, stuff I don't use that I kept paying for, especially apps. Man, I was way too many apps. Rocket Money does the heavy lifting by analyzing your spending, then customizes notifications to help you stay within your budget goals. It's not just about saving money. It's about actively seeing and feeling your financial progress. It's a great feeling. They track your monthly subscriptions too. So many free trials I've signed up for that I forgot to, you know, get rid of before the free trial was done. Making it super easy to cancel the ones you don't use. A couple of clicks and you're putting money back in your pocket. I'm telling you, have you ever found hidden subscriptions or pay for services you forgot about? Because Rocket Money is a huge asset in helping to uncover those and even negotiate some of my bills down to up to like 20%. So if you're ready to take control of your finances and there's no better time than now because it is the beginning of the year, check out Rocket money and see how much you could be saving. Stop wasting money on things you do not use. So to help support the channel and help support your wallet, visit rocketmoney.com slash rejects. Rocket Money currently has over 5 million users and has helped save its members an average of $720 a year with over $500 million in canceled subscriptions. They've helped me and I'm confident they'll do the same for you. That's rocketmoney.com slash rejects. Your bank account will thank you. All right. Oh, we're going to tell you. The film kicks off in 1961 and takes place over the following two years. Yeah, it's like a couple years. But in reality, Mary Jackson became the first black female engineer in NASA in 58 in Dorothy Obama history of becoming a supervisor more than a decade early in 1949. Oh, oh wow. they need some drama. Yeah. They still they still made that impact in history. They still made their mark by earlier. getting these positions, graduations. The three women's closeness. I was really wondering about oh. this. Because you're barely together in the film. That hurts. It hurts they're that they were close. Barely, they're barely, well, let's find out. Let's find out. All right. All right. Mary Catherine and Dorothy didn't actually cross paths as much as in the film. They seem like they were best buds. Right. And they definitely weren't close friends who attended events for family milestones. This narrative change put the women together in a variety of scenarios where they actually would have worked together frequently. Emphasizing their closeness in the film, let them express themselves to other women who are in a similar situation to themselves. But it's also not really true. Yeah, you see, I had just a very because uh, none uh, of their stories really related to each other. Because I was like, what a coincidence that the three of them would be best friends <laughs> and, <laughs> and go to work together and then also make these like massive achievements in individual spots in their personal. Like, uh, what a crazy. These are the coolest friends I've ever seen. <laughs> I mean, it's still I'm massively impressive what they've done, but Friendship yeah, that, goals. <laughs> once I realized like they're not really sharing that many scenes together and it's really mainly Catherine's story, mm -hmm. I started questioning the validity of how close they were. All right. Police incident 
Uh, yeah, that carpool scene's probably made up because they didn't actually hang out with each other. Yeah. All right. Yes. Oh, okay. Well, hold on a sec. Okay. Catherine May told women aren't allowed in briefings. I can believe right. that. Right. Okay. Uh, okay. Oh, that's actually pretty accurate of how she uh, got in to the huh. briefings. That's cool. That's awesome. Ooh, Kevin Costner's character. All right. Let's see. He plays. He's not a real guy. Al Harrison. Director, <laughs> Harrison is not a real history. <laughs> Movies. The director wasn't able to secure the rights to portray the real person who wanted to. So create a character who is a composite of three different NASA directors. Oh, my okay. God. Car- similarly, Jim Parson wasn't real, which is for the best considering his racist and sexist attitudes. Find the woman that Kirsten Dunst played. Vivian Mitchell is also a fictional creation. Oh, oh wow. holy shit. Our three main whiteies ain't even real whiteies. Wow. Because the real white people were so bad, they couldn't <laughs> be on screen. Costa was like, I want to be the super white. <laughs> yeah. Let them be subtly racist <laughs> or not so subtle. Getting rid of the segregated toilet. Wrong. Aww. And one of the most satisfying moments of the movie, Kevin Costner's character dramatically smashes the sign for the color lady's bathroom. There are a few problems with this scene. One, Costner did not exist. <laughs> Second, <laughs> segregation ended at Langley in 1958. Oh, wow. Some critics argue that this created an unnecessary white savior moment. Hey, there's always room for a white savior moment. What else do they have in a movie like this? The movie screenwriter and director Theodore Melfi countered that there needs to be white people who do the right thing. There needs to be black people who do the right thing. And someone does the right thing. And so who cares who does the right thing? As long as the right thing is achieved. Before we read the rest. <laughs> Theodore Melfi, are you white or black? I must find out because, you know... It's a fair point. He's a white guy. He's white. <sighs> he did a good job, though. Look good. It's a good. It was. It was a, Still it was like a your movie, movie, man. It's a good movie. Great looking wife. <laughs> <laughs> Kimberly Quinn. Awesome. I I don't know who you you people are. All right. Um, I like the movie, guys. All right. Katherine Johnson computing John Glenn's trajectory. That is correct. Hell yeah. When That's he became awesome. the first American to do so in the movie, we see Catherine work on Glenn's trajectory, which is totally accurate, is that uh, when IBM computers seem to be giving them inconsistent numbers, Glenn really did ask for John specifically to check out the figures for him. Oh. And that he was willing to fly that day if she confirmed them because hidden figures is a double meaning, Aaron. What? Yep. It's talking about the oh figures, my. but also they're the figures in his history that have. Oh my it, God. I, you get Margaret Lee Shutter, <laughs> the author of the book, Hidden Figures, she is based on a book, dude. Okay. Uh, so the astronaut became a hero, looked to the black woman in this still segregated South at the time as one of the key parts of making sure his mission would be a success. Mm. It's what I'm talking about. That is a real, it's not really a savior <clears throat> moment. It's actually the black one who saved. But it makes him look great. <laughs> uh, okay, they're running half a mile to use the bathroom. Okay, dramatic for dramatic, dramatic effect. Uh, she had to works. walk half a mile to another building in order to use the colored bathroom. In fact, Mary Jackson who encountered the problem. Mary, it was Mary Jackson who encountered this problem, not Johnson. Mm. Both had started laying for the NAC. Okay, all right. They all switched right. it around. Yeah. Catherine's, exper- Catherine's experience of workplace racism Shocker. Um, is wrong. Catherine takes a stand against the segregation at NASA. The real Catherine has stated that racism didn't affect her much in the workplace. Everyone was oh, really nice. What? They brought her gifts every day. When she spoke to <sighs> WHRO TV, she said, I didn't feel the segregation at NASA because everyone was there doing research. It actually is a shocker. No, you had, sarcasm at first. You had a mission and you worked on it. It was important to you to do your job and play bridge at lunch. I didn't feel any segregation. I knew it was there, but I didn't feel it. Perhaps it's a reflect price. Uh, I mean, you got to have the drama, here's man. Here's the thing. I feel like, because after seeing what they actually looked like, I'm going to say that like, there's a little colorism at play here. She's a very like fair-skinned, light-skinned black woman, which I feel like if she were the darker-skinned black woman, she would have gotten more harsher treatment. You think so? Definitely. Let's look her up. Catherine Langley. Especially back then, yeah. What's her last name? Langley? Langford? Uh, wasn't Johnson? 
Is he Johnson? She got married. Kim Johnson. Uh, but what was she known as? No, Langley's the place. <laughs> um, is, uh, yeah, I think you're right. God damn it. You might be right. Yeah, Catherine Johnson. Yeah, it's easy to remember. Not bad. Two and a half hours on page four. We got seven more minutes. <laughs> <laughs> We're right here. We need a yeah. Look co- at the, co- the colored photo. We need a colored photo of the black woman. That's right. not her. Is that her? Yeah, it's her. She's like she's like white passing. I mean, as a super old lady, maybe she got that way as she got older. I don't know. Maybe. Why, Wait, why are one. all the younger photos in black and white? <laughs> What's up with that? <laughs> I can't. <laughs> I don't know, man. I mean, she, in some photos, she she looks like definitely oh, click black. One. Where? I'm not saying she doesn't look black. I'm just saying because she's lighter skinned, that colorism is at play because you're like, you look closer to us in tone. Okay, we can be. Oh, that was easier to accept. To you. Yeah. But yeah, if she was like, like Daniel Kalua black, they'd be like, oh, I don't trust these colors. Yeah, that's fair. I, I mean, no, I do know. <laughs> it plays. It plays. Oh yeah, that's fair. To that's totally fair. Uh, segregation was very real in the straight. Uh huh. Uh huh. Okay. All right. Wow. Well, you kind of pick up on it as the movie goes. That some of this is a little hokey pokey. Yeah, and that's why it I feels started, very Hollywood. That's why I just started making jokes because I was like, <laughs> you can just tell that some of this just is like, <laughs> you know, yeah. that has that like Holly, but. I can't lie to you guys. I enjoy it. I enjoy that kind of shit for some reason. Even when I'm watching it going like, come on. <laughs> or yeah, such a white savior movie. I I love them. I eat them up. I eat your white savior. <laughs> I I really do enjoy them. And um, I think there's just enough actual really good things in here that really work for me. I think it's a touching story. It still effectively gets the point across. Um, they, like the, the important part about it, like the... The important part about it that I think they got right is uh, the mark that they were able to make and hit like they really did become in they really did come into the positions that they came into as the first African-American woman to do so. You know, and, and a lot of the, and especially for someone like Katherine Johnson, did some very extremely pivotal, important stuff. And, and I think con- conveying that is important, even if you have to, like, do some narrative bullshitting to get it done. <laughs> you know, I still think they got that point across. And uh, it, it got me curious to like want to look up what's valley. I was like, I just got to know. I got to yeah. find out. So you learn a little bit more about the truth behind it. And it's a story that I won't, ulti- I won't ultimately never forget. And I, my immediate reaction was like, oh, I'd love to see like a documentary about them, uh, like to really learn the truth. So I think for those purposes alone, it's good. It's, it's a touching story. It's another story about, you know, like don't be racist because <laughs> you never know. Like they might be, you might be able to get some good gains from them, right? <laughs> the lesson to be learned. Yeah. Don't be don't racist. Be, don't be a freaking prick. Don't you be racist. You might be able to, you might be able to benefit off of their knowledge and labor. And their labor. <laughs> Great choice of words. <laughs> Same. <laughs> oh God. Ugh. I, hey man, look, I'm not. Despite what you think, I have nothing against any people. <laughs> my dog's black. <laughs> <laughs> I vote for my dog twice. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's funny. <laughs> that's my dog right there. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Yeah. Okay. I mean, I also liked the movie. I will say that <sighs> part of me is like. I, f- I felt the hokiness of the movie too, and it, it does sadden me a little bit seeing some of these stuff. Some of the things that we looked up are uh, factually inaccurate, but you kind of sense that as you're watching it as well. Well, let me ask. Let me, let me put it to you like this then. Before we looked up this stuff, yeah, because I can easily look at this stuff, but still know exactly how I feel about mm-hmm. the movie. Um, that does any of before we looked it up. What was your feelings? Before we looked it up, I thought that... 10 out of 10, masterpiece. <laughs> Best black movie of the year. Yeah. No, I think before I looked it up, or we looked it up, I thought it was entertaining. I think that, you know, I like the parallels between what the black experience was at the time versus what they were experiencing within their workplace. It wasn't to the severity of what they knew on the outside, but still it was present 
And I just think that watching it, uh, yeah, it made me really grateful. And it showed the strength of what it was like to be not only black, not only a woman, but both of those things within that workplace. And God knows being black and a woman is hard in America. So being black and a, and a woman in the 60s was even tougher. And the amount of strength West Virginia, my God. in West Virginia yeah. Yeah, and the strength you got to have on top of being a mother. So you got to like feed your kids and go to work and deal with the workplace drama of it. And I think the the part that really, like, really hit me was the fact that, you know, before we looked this up, the, the fictionalized version of Catherine had to go half a mile to use the bathroom. And then she has to go home to her kids and tuck them into bed at night. I was like, oh, man, like to to her kids that she's a superhero, you know, she's like she's doing it. She's paving a way for these children and they have no idea the kind of stuff she has to deal with at work. Maybe they have some semblance of understanding because she is, you know, a black woman in the world. And like these kids have to experience that because of where they live and the time they're living in. Sure. But the fact that she's experiencing that as well, and then she has to go and put on a brave face for them. It was just really, uh, really inspiring, you know? And I, I liked all the stuff that we got to experience. I, the reason why I said earlier, cause like you, you f- know that it's two years, but I think a lot of, because the stuff with Mahershala Ali and her, was like it was in smaller bits if that whole romance aspect felt a little fast for me i was like they met and then he's coming to dinner and then they're getting married and i was like oh damn okay this is like boom 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 they had good chemistry don't get me wrong but i just feel like i would have liked to seen more of that you know and yeah i it is a little disheartening to find out that they weren't actually really good friends in real life and I think something I would have liked to have seen addressed is the fact that um, Octavia Spencer's character's achievement had an adverse effect on affecting Catherine. And we didn't really touch on that at all during the movie. But, you know, I don't it's not directly her fault for going after something that she wanted to be the supervisor while she was trying to gain respect within uh, the room yeah. of, these, mean, uh, of these crafts. She knew that she that they were going to figure it out. So if she figured it out, she could help bring everyone along with her. Yeah. Yeah. So that was like the purpose of it. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. No, man. I, I I agree with you. I, I I still think because of the time it takes place, and that I I weirdly didn't question if that was true. If she had to like go go to the bathroom. Um, yeah. Have my like. Yeah. Accept that it. sounds like a thing that someone would probably have to endure. That a black woman would probably have to endure in a workplace like this yeah. during this time. And. And, and as much as this is like the PG movie, because uh, it's like a family accessible version of this story, mm-hmm. which is why I, I give a lot of it a pass because it is. And granted, I'm not, I, I cannot talk from the black experience uh, of watching a movie like this. I cannot talk from the African-American experience of it. I, I'm watching it from that lens of like it's a PG movie. So I know they're going to like tone down a lot of like what the day to day really felt like during this time. Yeah. You know, so as much as they dramatize certain aspects to hammer in like even how in the fact versus fiction page they were explaining how you know Catherine didn't even really feel the racism and that's probably because she I can imagine I'm, I'm going to make an assumption here and I, I don't really like to make assumptions I'm going to um, I would imagine that when you grow up in a state like that being a black woman you probably deal with all kinds of shit all the fucking time that this is probably like so minimal in comparison that it's like, yeah, no, it's hap- it's here, but I'm not that affected by it <laughs> because yeah. I've dealt, I deal with so much worse on a day to day basis, you know? So I can imagine that that, that is probably it. So you do need like the drama for your specific narrative that you're going to tell because you, otherwise people aren't going to really, if, if we did the super realistic version, people probably wouldn't show up for the movie. Um, <laughs> you know, Maybe. it might not be as interesting enough, uh, you know, unless you're like Christopher Nolan making the film. Yeah. white saving their black story <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so. well if it was a realistic version of the film like none of this would would correlate because yeah. all the stuff happened at different times so i will judge it as a narrative yeah. and as a narrative i i do think that uh yeah i i kind of do wish because you start off with the three women mm-hmm. and they do seem like they really just so splinter off splinter off and <laughs> i wish there was a bit of a stronger connective bow to them 
Yeah, because I would, together again. I would kind of forget about uh, Octavia Spencer and Janelle Monae. Yeah, I, I, I forget about Manjel, Man, Janelle Monae more than Octavia Spencer because I felt like her was like the C or D story of this whole movie. Exactly. There was yeah, it was just two hours and seven minutes. I feel like there was a lot going on for that amount exactly. of time because they're like, yeah, there's their stories and stories of the church, the stories of what's going on in with civil rights. And then there's her getting married, you know, on top of that or her relationship. And yeah, the, also the, I guess it was just to establish, but I thought the, her being like this young prodigy in the twenties up to her adulthood would be more like relevant. Yeah. But, I Cause so, like yeah. seeing her, seeing her see the, the shapes and geometry, I was like, I guess that's just a, a starting point, like an entry point to, to show how long she's been this smart. I was like, yeah, I think, you know, maybe her being doubted. Everyone, okay, everyone in the black community was super supportive of these three women being like these uh, these forward, smart, you know, I'm sure they said the pay wasn't great. But still, I, I think that I don't, maybe because it's a PG movie, they don't want any like additional like layers on top of the fact that, you know, they're these black women within this uh this world of, of NASA and like being a minority in that part, but also push back from within the community as well. A lot of complicated things, but yeah, I mean, it was nice to see, you know, support of black husbands or black romantic uh, people in this, as you were kind of saying in the movie. A lot of the times these movies will, you know, like, like I got an alcoholic black husband or boyfriend or something, you know, that's, uh, yeah. okay, that's something I, that's something yeah. I will, I will say like there wasn't, it was very Hollywood eyes, but it wasn't like the stereotypical movie in which we see where it's like, you know, about like drugs or like the baby mama drama or like all of this stuff. Yeah. Like granted, which is, which is obviously real people's experiences, but I liked that it, the light in which uh, these women were painted in, in this movie. I love that they had a straight up white savior moment. That makes me <laughs> so happy. <buddy. laughs> that, like, they completely made that shit it's up. It's crazy. That dude wasn't even real. It's bro. probably like one of the biggest moments of the movie. <laughs> <laughs> and it's such a big moment. And, and he's three, he's three different guys. And right away you were like, that probably didn't happen. <laughs> and right away you said it. I'm like, yeah, it probably didn't happen. And you look at it. I'm like, this guy didn't even exist. And it's, such a big moment in the movie. <laughs> Insane. It's such a crowning achievement. Look what I've done. <laughs> oh, it's so funny. Wow. That cracks me up. That was a great moment, though. It was, it was good. I like that shit. I do. I eat it up. Just, I eat it up. I eat up the cliches. Because, well, like, I think the movie is, is very, for a movie that starts off about, like, geometry and shapes, I, I, what I respect very much so is the, the way this movie's framed. I, I think there's the, I think the cinematography in this movie is the kind of thing that could easily be overlooked, but there's a, there's a lot of, like, wide framing that they do throughout where I felt like every shot was actually really composed, but it wasn't done in a way that was to, like, go look at me, I'm a cool director, you know, mm. but it's still shot really well. Like yeah. every shot is really well composed, but it doesn't feel flashy or self-indulgent. It's a little self-indulgent in the writing, but not so much in the actual directing they did. And even though Kevin Costner was made up, guys, I actually did a really great job. No, his the performance was great. I thought Kevin Costner was excellent. I I, I really liked him a lot. Um, they, uh, <laughs> it's dope. No, bold, no, no, no boldness on the... Just made him like the the only really nice <laughs> white guy on NASA is Kevin Costner. <laughs> All he cares about just, is science, like, space, and equal rights. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, it's so funny because you're like, there's no way <laughs> you're the only one. The fact you're the only one makes me go. There must have been other people who were cool with black people, or you had <laughs> or it's totally bullshit that you were the only one who was nice yeah, yeah I, uh, um as we were watching i realized i'm like i don't think kristen dunce has any other scenes with anybody else in this movie yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Or two. and that's the other pitfall of the movie they go into white redemption like racist redemption yeah. character mode with, with some of these people you know and um like look they can change we all can change <laughs> yeah we should that, accept black people. <laughs> that quote, oh, that was such a terrible quote for that director. But man, that cheese, I love the cheese in the moment. I really do. I, I, I can acknowledge it because it is one of those things where you're like, oh, 
it is the line it, it, it is the line that uh, Octavia Spencer has, the, the bar that she drops of, uh, of when Kirsten Dunn says, I have nothing against, you know, y'all. Mm-hmm. And then she goes, uh, I know you believe that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Facts. And that's kind of this movie. <laughs> this movie believes that everything it's doing is great <laughs> and, <laughs> and that it's, it's well-intentioned. <laughs> it's like they, so when I'm watching this film, I'm going, well, God, it's a heart's in the right place, I think. <laughs> they think their heart's in the right place. <laughs> yeah. And that's okay, I guess. <laughs> Look at us. Look, at, Let's pat ourselves on the back for this one, guys. At the end of the day, they're saying, don't be racist. <laughs> and we can't be wrong with that. <laughs> don't be racist. Believe in black women and science. Yeah, and at the end of the day, it did introduce to a really cool story with... Yeah. And, and uh, with great performances from p- particularly, um, what's her name? Taraji? I don't know. Her, Taraji P. Henson. Tara- that is her name. I don't know why I guess, that, I guess myself. The bathroom scene or the reveal of the, when she's talking to Kevin Costner, I'm like, that's your Oscar moment. That's your Oscar scene right that's there. That's what I mean. That moment right there, I was I got distracted going, this is totally like Oscar Oscar scenes here. Yeah, that, that's like, the scene they play great, at the Oscars. Like, great speech, <laughs> but totally, <laughs> totally aware of what this scene I'm looking at is right now. <laughs> like really well done, <laughs> but I'm also hyper aware that this is your Oscar bait scene. Oh yeah. Uh, oh, something I wanted to see the um, if this was up for an Oscar, the costume. We're gonna charge me for overtime. We're about to go 20 seconds away from two and a half armor. <laughs> We're going to say that it was nominated for an Oscar. Oh, let's want to see if it's nominated for anything. We can find out. Yeah. Let's find out. I don't have the, a whole bunch of other stuff to do after this. Right? <laughs> <laughs> let's, let's find out. <laughs> All right. Oscar. Let's go. Let's go. What were you, were you nominated for anything? What do you look at? Nominated for three Oscars. Ah, costuming is one of them. I know it. I hope so. Kevin Costner was nominated. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be crazy. You can see it happening. Didn't Sandra Bullock win for The Blind Side? Did she? Yeah. Fix oh, what wow. you want for. I've never seen it. I gotta watch it. Especially now. I'll watch it by myself. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> Damn you, internet. Load. Okay, here we Come go. On. Oh, dude, it was nominated for Best Picture. Was it really? I thought it was good. I don't think it was Best Picture good. Octavia Spencer got oh best supporting actress. Okay. Yeah. So okay, no costume ones? I mean, Octavia Spencer's like Oscar Darling. She won for the help. Oh, such a white savior movie. Still need to watch Great the movie though. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I love that movie. <laughs> <laughs> problematic, way more problematic than this movie. Really? Oh yeah. When you look up that shit, freaking um uh, what's her name? Uh Viola Davis like says that like that was a mistake for her to make that movie. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Yo, she's I didn't so know that. good at it. <laughs> what? She said she shouldn't have made it. That's yeah, crazy. Yeah. Something, something along the lines. It's pretty much like disowning the film. Oh wow. Okay. Now that makes me want to watch it more. And the writer, best adapted screenplay. Okay. I could have sworn it was nominated for costuming. Well, oh, well, well, got nominated for something. So I'm half right. Dude, dude, Mahershal Lee won the best actor at the BET Awards. Are you serious? For He's showing barely up barely in the movie. Showing up and being pleasant. He's just, <laughs> he's just nice. He's just a nice black man. That's all he whatever. I'm sure there's an actor more deserving that year. Oh, it's because it's shared with um, Luke Cage. Because he had like a multiple amount of roles that year, I think. Oh, uh, yeah. okay. All right, all right. Okay, that makes more sense. Right. Is that, he's is that what this Luke movie's Cage. telling me? That was my introduction to him. Luke Cage? Oh my god, he's in one of the I best white savior movies. Green Book, have you seen that? Green Book's great. I love that movie. Best whites, one of the best. <laughs> <laughs> it's a buddy movie. It's yeah. a road trip buddy movie. Oh my god, but it's... He's fantastic in that movie. He's, he is, he won the Oscar. As he should have. As he should have. And um, and and um, when when the director won Best Picture, I don't think he even thanked Mahershal Ali. Oh wow. Of course he didn't. Of that course is he didn't. white. <laughs> White. Thanks for getting me here. Savior. <laughs> Savior movie. Best one. Oh, oh God. God. We could have had a more nuanced 
uh, discussion about it, but I, I think we I think we did our job. We, we were, did. We it. were honest, and uh, I liked it. What would you give it out of ten, Aaron? Let's end this. I give it a seven. Yeah, I'm probably there with you. Yeah, seven. Was, Soup. What's that? Rod Tomatoes. That's a great movie, though. Which one? American Fiction. Mm. Thanks for watching a movie. I know. I know. <laughs> this is my fourth favorite movie of 2023. <laughs> Damn, dude. 93% all the, out of 50,000 people. Wow. Um, they're, they're. How many of them are white? <laughs> <laughs> Oh man! All right, let's do, a whole, let's do a whole new review. <laughs> oh god, that's crazy! It's a true triumph. I'm just gonna type in an important film. What if we're like the only ones who like had slight issues with it? Uh, I thought it was a good movie. The wrong lesson white people learn from white savior movies. <laughs> yeah, no, man, it's a good movie. Yeah, I thought all the, all the leads were great. You know, it's just the the moving around of times and, and creating a story. Hey, it's a crowd pleasing good time. I had a fun time, Aaron. It was a feel good movie. I had a fun time, feel good movie, inspired. All righty, guys. Well, what do you think about Hidden Figures? Leave your thoughts down below. Be sure to, uh, should I watch The Blind Side? You should, you should watch The Blind Side. Watch The Blind Side. That'd and then talk about how that movie's problematic. Nah. <laughs> Dude, there's a crowd pleaser. White Savior movies are meant to be crowd pleasers. <laughs> they are. That's what they all Just are. Just enjoy them and don't think they're about it. To be, they're meant to be like, yeah. <laughs> it's meant to ease your white guilt. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. I think the intention of White Savior movies, too. <laughs> is to inspire white people to not be racist. <laughs> That's the genius of them, Aaron. We're not so bad. It's okay. Is that, look, look, doesn't it feel good to not be, to not be racist? We could be like that. Like, wow, I shouldn't be racist. That's cool. <laughs> it works. I think it's a great movie. Uh, leave your thoughts down below. Hidden Figures 2. Catherine will return. Maria Hammond, Maria, it was your birthday recently, so wanted to say happy birthday to you, and for 2024, we got to send you a gift. Yes, we do. What are we realistically going to send her? A puppy. No. Uh, <laughs> uh, your we, responsibility. We don't want it. We found it on the street. Yes, Take it. Please. Take it. Is it alive? We just packed it in a UPS box, yeah. taped it. Holes in it. Yes. Like fragile. Here's a bowl side. of water. Hopefully it doesn't fall it over. Doesn't spill all over this thing. Um, oh, goodness. We could get her something commemorative. We could name a star after her. That's not a bad gift, John. You know, I'm saying, like, I mean, of all the things to commemorate Will your it cost life, more than what she pays every month for un- Undoubtedly. Out? So, you know what? We'll have then to it's have a lot. It's a financial lot. Yeah. It if you can increase liability. your pledge so we can get we you, can you this, get star. You this gift. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think you only have to pay for it once. So, like, you know, you don't subscribe to the star. Unfair. So See what you, you know. didn't. You wanted the star, and now you just took advantage of us. It made yeah. it seem like you were giving, but now we got to give you a gift. Once oh, you well, fully thanks, paid Maria. off your gift. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> but seriously, no, we appreciate we gotta you. Get you. We're going to get you something. Or are you thinking about it? But no, thank you for being such an amazing human being. Here's to another 78 more years At of least minimum. enjoying. I'm not saying you're 78. I was just throwing out a random number. Just to stay alive for at least that no much one more time. lives past like 80 on average, right? Yeah, it's like the going rate right now. What is the average person? Maria, let's make this really fun for your birthday. <laughs> What John, is the average mortality? Yeah, rate? John, type it in. What is the average mortality rate? What is the average? Uh, yeah. Average. I really don't know how old we're. Life span. I have no idea. Twenty twenty three. 
Okay, so we're getting close. 73.16 years, according to Quora. Oh, okay. Is the so average life expectancy I in the world you, right now. I hope you be the first person. Of, what is the oldest person I've ever lived? Who's 70, the oldest? Actually, it's 70 years for men and 75 for women. Uh, so. Yeah, okay. They got less problems. That's why. That's right. Much more relaxed What's, life. What is the oldest person? <laughs> How old is the current oldest <laughs> yeah, person in the world? 116. Wow. Oh, you can beat them. All right, Maria. They're yeah. only 116 years old. They live in Spain. Their name's also Maria. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah. Holy shit. Yeah. It was meant to be. Maria, you got to be the new dominant extended life, Maria. Yes. If you could just make it to 118, I think you got a good <laughs> amount of distance between the next runner up. So we're going to do whatever it takes. That's what we're going to do. We're going to send you an IV. We're going to get cells. you cryo-frozen. Yes. We're going to uh, send you some vitamins. We're going to get you some, uh, oh, whatever oh, that. Whatever it takes to get that you. That baby blood stuff that people are always freaking out about. Yeah. People talk about quality of life, not quantity. Hell with that. Yeah. I don't care how miserable you get. I don't care if you develop some debilitating disease over the next couple of years and you're just <laughs> like, oh, my God, just put me out of my misery. No, uh, we will trap you. We're going to get you that hydrochrome. Even if we have to just keep your head alive in a tank like Futurama, we will do yes. it to oh make God. sure you make it to one. That's your gift. That's you your gift. put your head over your here Your gift on is set. not letting you die. <laughs> yes, your gift is forced <laughs> immortality. Uh, yeah. It's good. So, yeah. Happy birthday, Maria. Love you. Love you. You've been an absolute gem in our lives, and you, you know damn well that we know that. So thank you, my dear.